Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey friends out there, this is Tim Friend, just saying that this next game that we're going to be playing, Persona 5, uh, has some serious issues. I mean, not not that it has severe problems, but that it has uh, serious themes in it. Uh, they're pretty heavily dealt with, uh, and they are rape, abuse, and suicide. Uh, there might be more that I'm not remembering. Uh, I will try to give warnings like this up front if I see more in the future. Uh, but if you think that this might uh, harm you in some way, then uh, feel free to, to skip on over this video. Because uh, you got to take care of yourself, you know? I don't want you, I don't want to accidentally hurt anyone with these videos. So be sure to, to take care of yourself and stay safe out there, guys. All right, welcome back to Tim Friend. We've got to beat our way through all of these these uh these boys, these worker boys. Unfortunately, I got rid of the fucking thing that I can use. Uh, I I mean, you can look at all my cool personas for a little bit, I guess. No. Uh, I know what I can do. I can use a fucking item. These guys are weak to wind and fire. Uh, do I have I don't have a thing that will do the thing, but I can do an air cannon. Just okay. hit one of these boys. Right it's for weak. Baton pass to Morgana. What up, little dude? Use persona. Medium wind damage to all folks. Great. And we don't get to do the thing, I guess. But we'll just do it again. That's four. Once we defeat a wave, he will summon another wave. Even more. That's right. Pretty grim. Pretty grim. Yeah, okay, we get it. Uh, we're gonna just keep using some items so we can baton pass in Morgana. Thank you. Yeah. I love his little... Smackerel of Daring Do as he hits the high five. And unfortunately, we could just obliterate through them. Uh, so there should be two more of those weak to win guys. Yeah, now we got two different dudes who are weak to ice and psychic. So we are going to use wind. And then pass to me. Oh, he comes through and high fives me. It's good. Uh, I've got psychic, right? Yeah. Or er, got ice. Do I have psychic? Yeah. This does light side damage to everyone. And then we will switch to Morgana. Nope. We'll switch to Makoto just for the baton pass boost. And she'll just use the fucking biggest hit in the book. The biggest hit that she has, at least. Uh, they're weak to Psychic. So let's use the mass hit Psychic. So there should be three more of those Ice and Psychic dudes. And then that guy's weak to Nuclear. Whoops. Eh. Just baton pass the boss fight. The difficulty level is presented by uh, not knowing what the enemy's weaknesses might be, because uh, they resist literally everything that they're not weak to, which sucks. Like that's such a it it just makes the the difficulty of all the encounters the same difficulty as it is when you're fighting something for the first time, where it's just trial and error till you get to the right one. Uh, it should be... Yep. Okay. Uh, so this is three weak to nuclear, one weak to wind. Uh, which lets us do this. Fortunately, we can't do the all-out attacks in this fight for some reason. And then you pass to Makoto. You do your thing. Yohana means family. Queen knocked down three shadows. The story of my children's novel. Uh, let's do. Do we have? 
Yeah, Mafrela. I could do Megiddo. Let's try Megiddo, because no one resisted. Yeah, that was useful. It was useful. Well, may almighty damage, as done by Megiddo, isn't resisted by anyone. So that's nice. Uh, it's weak to win. I'm just gonna stab him. Way to stabs. Uh, some more wind and a curse, and a couple curse and psychic boys. Uh, let's see. So Makoto will have to use an item. And they're weak to win. Let's do that. Tom pass to the Mogano. Yeah. Use the big. Pass to me. High five. All right, I'm pretty sure I have a mass curse. Yeah, Mega. I mean, I could have used mass psychic as well, but I think I only have a a a, a light mass psychic one. We'll just use it again. Fuck it. Pretty good. They're weak to win. So do it again. So, this one's just... I don't think this guy's weak to anything. <laughs> this guy looks pretty cool. Alright. What's your deal? How's this? So now he doesn't Persona. resist Psychic. Does that mean we can do it to him? Okay, so it's just it's just fine is what it is. Persona. Now it turns into a... Uh, now we got a real fight on our hands. No okay, he doesn't resist it. That's very, very polite of him. Uh, do we have any damage? Barely. Okay. I'll use Miracle Punch. Miracle Punch is a new uh, high crit move that Morgana got. Nice. The Tom passed to moi. Yeah. Let's see. Do we? Let's use. Let's try a triple down. Bam. Pow, bang, snaps. So our... Hell yeah. Famine's breath makes us hungry. Which is baffling. Uh, which makes my stats weaker, but it also makes him immune, I guess, to another ability. That's what the... That's what the Jim Jam is saying. We'll see. I think... Har is best off just physical attacking. Ooh, thank you, Futaba. We haven't been able to see this. She increases the stats of everyone sometimes, just at at random. And that's that's fine. Let's increase everyone's accuracy in a V. Because now that my stats are lowered, let's just use buffs. Finally getting the party-wide buffs. Very nice. Like it very much. So this is sort of like the true boss of this fight. Not bad, Mona. Miracle Punch is so good. Well, all right, thank you, I guess. I'll take it. Done, done, on to the next one. I don't have a strong single target. Oh, I got Kushinata. Kushinata is a, uh, a lover's Arcana persona. Uh, so she's stupid high because I'm at rank 10 with On. Work harder. Contribute more. The fate of my company rests upon how hard you work. Incredible. Okay, he's focused. And my attack is down. That's cool. Uh, Big Bang Order, he charges. The next one is Big Bang Challenge. Okay, so yes, now we defend. Unfortunately, I'm just just too good of friends with everyone. Uh, Makoto, though, is going to heal Let's people because she's already got fairly high defense. I'm very grateful. Thank you. 
and she can heal. Uh, but if if I was afflicted with hunger and they used Big Bang Challenge, uh, it just heals you, which is hilarious. Uh, at least that's what the guide says. We'll fucking see. Probably at some point. What's the read drop? Non-special ailments. I bet hunger's a special ailment. I wish there weren't 30,000 kinds of fucking uh, ailment in this game. They weren't classified into, like, element, special, psychic. It's it's nuts. It's fucking nuts. Uh, yeah, you just heal everyone, too. Man, Joker is running the fuck out of SP. Nice. Thank you. Switch to my boy. My boy being myself. And use a hysterical slap. It's hilarious. I should be using a uh, triple tap or whatever the fuck it's called. Rude. I worked hard on that. Triple down, that's what it's called. Of course it's triple down. Oh yeah, that's weak as hell from Haru. But for me... Now I have the, the snipe and trigger happy abilities. Slightly better. So that was not as exciting as I had hoped it would be, but okay. Yeah! Feel her rage! Still use Miracle Punch. So you can get the extra triple downs. Is not an here. You got it, buddy. Oh. He's trying his best, this guy. Oh, that's bad. Joker, your defense is decreased. I am. I'm super aware. I don't know if it's physical or magical. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I can just switch to fucking Hecaton Kyra's because he has Endure. You guard. And you also guard. I do love that. It's just like an advertisement. Alright. It's not magical. It tried to inflict hunger on him. Mona's really hungry. His attack is a lot lower. He's really hungry. You guys. This one. Wake up. Thank you. Joker's hungry. Power down. I know, Let's I know. Go. I just gotta heal my boys before I can give them food. Mona's really hungry. I His with Futaba. I know. I I'm working on it, okay? I got shit to do. HP related. I don't love this. So I'm hungry now. Will I endure the Big Bang Challenge? I should have used Triple Down. Son of a dang. I don't know if I can finish him. Ugh. Nope. All right. Trying to put her to the chest. IGN. Does it actually heal the hungry? It does. That's amazing. What a ridiculous mechanic. Where you want to be hungry. That's so goof. That's goof as hell. White Rider. Done. Yep. Nope. But no one came. Why isn't anyone coming? You used them all up, my dude. Is that the last of the minions? Let's finish him, Joker. Hell yeah. Uh, let's punch him. 
Boom. And then stab with knife. Oh, he's hungry. He couldn't make it happen. He can't do anything. Once you get through the minions, Akuma himself falls like a fucking house of cards. Thank God. When I got through that shit in my first playthrough, I was like, oh my god, now I have to fight the real boss? I'm dead for sure. But then you just... you just win. With this power. It's kind of a nice reward for beefing it through that rest of that boss and the rest of that fucking dungeon. Fuck that whole place. I think this is my least favorite palace. Kind of sure this is bad, but this one is... I mean, it's also bad. One more in a lineage of failures. Oh. This may be the end for Akumaru Foods. I think it was the end once you started doing this shit. Forgive me, Haru. <laughs> Father. You were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? Ah, uh, didn't moment of truth. I admit I've spent large sums of money to help my company grow and to crush business competitors. Answer me, damn it! Did you do it or not? Not personally. I had a contract. All I did was make the requests to have them eliminated. Interesting. Who did you have a contract with? Requests? Then there really is a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. So it's true. What kind of contract did you form? And with whom? <laughs> oh, of course. Stop crying and tell us. Reveal it. Damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can't you stop that thing? Oh well. We can't just throw our lives away like this. Look, up there. Uh, it's conveniently the, the core. It just falls from the ceiling for no reason at all. Moik? We've taken your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. You seen this criminal's face before? Warning. We don't got time to get that out of him. We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Panther. Shouldn't we bring father with us? That's not how it do. Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. <laughs> It's so true. That is what you've taught me, Father. Oh. Oh, it is sad. It's. I don't feel. My oh my God! They killed him. The person in the black mask. With a silenced pistol. They killed Okumura. In his palace. You know what that means, right? You remember? Will we make it? I bet you will. Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible. We're counting on you, Mona. Yeah. Turn into a bus. <laughs> I love that frenetic. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is very good. Four, but yet, three, Akuma two, assassinated in his palace means he's gonna go brain dead in the real world. And that's that's what Sai Nijima, the beautiful prosecutor, was talking about when she first gave us this case. Or when she first <coughs> referenced it. Referencing how it was different. What went wrong? Still pounding. But we didn't see it. Uh, we did a great job in there. <laughs> yep. You know, Morgana, you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure. Yeah, that's that's a good point, on. Oh? The truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved, though. Okumura wasn't the culprit. Still, no. he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. And I'm sure he'll be able to give up that information. Mom. Oh. 
Whoa. It's a... Is this... It's a toy? His treasure was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember father telling me something before he changed. He what said there telling? was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Your family could get like a thousand of those kits though. Yeah. Okumura Foods has been around for generations, but it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. Okay, so yeah, a good man. It seems the debt collectors were a frequent presence when my father was young. Oh, that sucks. Well, that must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. It's the sort of being taught the opposite lesson from his dad. Whoa! This thing's insane! It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still... Better not mention it. People are gonna pay that much for a plastic toy? By the way, when exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? It'll probably happen exactly on the deadline day. Soon. That's all we know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Once he has his change of heart, we'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes, I'm sure it'll be fine. Exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the Phantom Thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. That, that, they are behind the mask, the Black Masked Man. We might already know that. I don't, might not need to present that as a surprise. We've lost a convenient source of income. But I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. So he was paying them, and they would... I mean, they would take that money. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. I mean, saying that makes it sound like you're a part of the political world. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. I mean, this is probably why there's a huge... Uh like evidential link between the phantom thieves and the shutdowns we'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the phantom thieves at once two birds with one stone you really cooked us on this one <laughs> uh, that wasn't an amazing evil laugh akumara had a better evil laugh you gotta gotta put in the effort i've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time that's good we should all do that I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Yeah, you don't gotta compare yourself. You're you're still part of it. Turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? Oh, buddy. It happens to everyone. Thanks. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. I mean, man, we're, we're the Phantom Thieves because we felt like we couldn't belong somewhere else. And then you felt like you couldn't belong here, Morgana? It's, we, all of us can empathize with you. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like a reason to live. I feel you on that one. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the Phantom Thieves succeed. Okay, all right. In other words... Our goals are in alignment. Y yeah. From now on, I'm not going to hold anything back. Oh, hooray. You'd better put some effort in too. Don't make me regret my choice. I will never do that. Probably. Yeah, we get like rank nine. Jesus, we're almost done ranking a Morgana. Because he's such a good friend. All right. Yep, he protect. Now that he is rank nine. Plus, I want Lady On to be happy. Oh, she is. If my actions can help her achieve happiness, that's more than enough for me. That's very selfless of you. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Oh, no, buddy. This is all sappiness. No. Oh. 
Oh, it's so nice to have my friend back. Oh, so happy. Well, then. A Kumaris change of heart. A pee 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 pee. Thank you so much for today, everyone. Likewise. You must surely be exhausted. I suggest you go to sleep early. Hey, we should talk about Haru's welcome party. Didn't we just say we would let her rest, you dimwit? I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay. I promise. As long as you're okay, Haru. Well, is there anywhere you'd like to go? Actually, I'd like to walk around the school festival with everyone. You mean the Shujin School Festival? I must admit, I'm interested in as well. Uh, then it's settled. That reminds me, we still haven't settled on a guest. A guest? Like some kind of celebrity? Wait, does that mean the Phantom Thieves could be one of the candidates? How about it? Want to show up? That's a bit over the top. You're getting too carried away. Don't say such strange things. What a shallow idea. Ooh, a four-hit combo. Sorry. Oh, Ryuji, he just wants to be famous. Idolize the celebrities. Now all we have to do is wait for them to have a change of heart. Tonight, you can take it easy. Sleep. I wonder if we will meet in the Velvet Room. Oh, it's happening. Can you believe it? I certainly can. I can certainly believe this. Come on. Do the load. Uh. Uh. Talk to the pointy man. He's got pointy shoes and he's got a pointy nose Looks and his like hair. I mean, it's anime, so it's pointy inmate. too. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Rude, but okay. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. Yeah, good. Isn't the, like the actual flash forward date coming up though? Oh, uh, just. Just beat a criminal. It doesn't seem like a big deal. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. What's up? Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Oh, I bet that's what it is. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. Is that all this is to you? <laughs> it's not really unexpected if we saw it fucking happen, though. Maybe if they told it in a flashback when they reveal who the black masked man is. Ugh. Oh, Morgana with the scary eyes. Whoa. That dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of a Mentos. Oh, my poor buddy. My poor, poor buddy. I hope he and will be okay. <laughs> Fucking a uh, first poster, of course. Yep. Oh, hey! didn't get a fucking book. Uh Read Yancha Wanderer. Introducing Yang and Jai as you've never seen it before. I wonder if it mentions LeBlanc. LeBlanc. What did I learn about? Fucking nothing, I bet. Oh. So, you finished reading Yancha Wanderer. Didn't mention LeBlanc at all. They did write about the batting cages by the grocery store and the bathhouse in that alleyway, though. That much variety? Maybe living in Yangan isn't quite as bad as it seems, huh? Oh, okay. So it just gives us quick travel. Fucking stupid. What a waste of a book slot. Ugh. I'll go to the ding dang school library. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? <laughs> yeah, it really is a totem pole. It's so colorful. I just love watching people try to eat it. I'm amazed whenever someone can eat it really neatly. Mm. Eating a totem pole? Neatly? Wonder why they call it the totem pole. Uh, for the way it looks. It looks like a totem pole. I can't imagine what kind of food looks like a totem pole. And eating it impresses people? The mystery deepens. Totem pole at the diner, huh? Okay, I'm interested. 
I bet it raises proficiency? That's my guess. Because we've seen the, the coffee for guts and the steak for kindness and the fruity oh, for charm. So it's got to be proficiency. Have you ever thought your phone went off but nothing actually happened? Uh, yes, that's hashtag relatable. It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Master friend, let's hear it. What is this phenomenon currently commonly called in English? Let's try to puzzle out this acronym. So the PVS referring to mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Uh, fan phantom, right? Phantom. Right. It's got to start with phantom since you're only imagining it. Next is the V part. It'd be phantom vibration. That's it. When your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. Last is the S. So if you have uh, phantom vibration so far, phantom vibration syndrome. Good. The correct English term is phantom vibration syndrome. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society, where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. He's pretty smart. Didn't expect that. Give me the point of knowledge. Put it on top of the stack. Put it on the pile. Where's my mouse? Gotta find the audible. Alright. Point of knowledge get. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Yeah, I, I agree. Think it'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds? I'll pass on that, thanks. Uh, it makes me sound like an old man, but I'm... It takes me a while to think of things sometimes to respond to people with, so if, if someone gets huffy about me responding, then that's, that's bad news for me. And now we wait like usual. It's not an excuse to slack off. We should still use our time wisely. I know, buddy. Kawakami's in trouble. Who's IMing us? It's Yusuke. All right. Next time on Tim Friend, we'll hang out with Yusuke. All right. Goodbye, everybody. We're Tim Friend.